how do you kickstart your new business opportunity, your new home business? Hi guys, this is Suzanne Snowsteel, the Awakened Mompreneur, and this is video 44, I believe, yes, that is, 44 out of my 62 DFT video challenge. Um, here is why I want to cover this, it's because a lot of people, they don't understand the sense of urgency that you need to have when you start a new business. I've watched a lot, you know, like I think a while ago, it must have been last year, I've watched Horton Bugs, you know, you, I think you can find the video on YouTube, how to kickstart your home business, okay? And he talks about how to set expectation into your family, your environment, the people that you love, the people that you close to you close to that you should be telling people in advance I'm going to be working my butt off sorry for the word the expression but that's how it is for the next 90 days I'm going to be working long hours so that we can have the rest of our lives you know spending more quality time together, I just want to warn you. And that really stuck with me, okay? And at the time, I was, you know, in a business opportunity that I was struggling with, okay? But I understood the concept. I took it with me. When I started my current business opportunity, this is how I did it, and that's the way you want to be doing it. Over the course of the past year or maybe I don't know how long you've been in home business industry you have collected and you should have had if you have not what have you been doing you should have have nurtured relationship with people in the industry what you want to be doing is you want to get go hard you want to go hard all the contacts that you have okay you want to be literally picking up the phone and saying hey I started something amazing new what's you know well first of all don't say that straight away you know just ask you know how the person is hey what what's up how long have you know how, it's been a while you know what, what's going on in your life you you kind of prospect you prospect even you warm market you prospect you warm market right you find out where they are at then you introduce them to your new business opportunity. And you have to do that with every single person you have cultured. You know, it's like, you know, gardening, right? You put the seeds, you put the seed. You must have, have put seeds, you know, maybe, say, example, you've been in business for two years in a previous opportunity, okay? You must have planted seeds, okay? You must have connected with people that are in, you know, that was in the same business opportunity that you were before, and those people are still struggling. But you have come up with something better, a better, you know, like here is what, here is the thing, guys. Here is the thing, and it's really important, okay? I want you to pay attention. This is exactly what you need to be in your mind, okay? If you believe that your new business opportunity has got strong products, a strong team support, has got systems in place where you know that your new, you know, the new members, when they come in, they are able to get into profit in the first week to the first month, you know it's happening and you know it's already in in motion, you see it with your team, you see it with your sponsor that you have signed up with, then you should have the belief that what you have is the best for the people that you're going to be connecting with, if they have the issues that you used to have, if that makes sense, okay? So, the, that's, that's the fundamentals. If you don't believe that, you know, what you have currently um, you know, totally, that is the best option, that is the best way to build an income that is going to help the people that you're going to get into your business make the money that they deserve and obviously use, you know, have value from the products. If you don't believe that 100%, 
you are not going to pick up the phone and speak to those people that you've spoken in the past. You are not going on so to to go on social media and pick, you know, and start talking talking to people, you know, that you've nurtured, you know, a relationship with. Those are the people you want to be connecting first. Then you start prospecting new people. Once you get your story, then you start going into paid advertising to scale up your business. That's how you start your business. And I'm telling you, if you do not take excuses from yourself and you actually do what you, I'm telling you to do in your business, I'm telling you, you're going you're gonna to get results. And you have the, the training. Sorry, my daughter. Is, if you have the training to allow, you know, to help you to do that, then do it. Do it. Your business will thank you. Your life will thank you. Your family will thank you later. Okay? So that was, you know, the video for today. If you want to find out what I'm doing, you know, to be home with that little monkey here. Okay, say hello. Say hello. Um, <laughs> and, you know, just click on the link below or message me. And looking forward to connect with you. Uh, until tomorrow. Peace out. Bye.